I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered how big would a single tree have to be to support all human life on Earth? Welcome to Zula La. What if there was just one tree? Forests cover about 30% of the planet's surface and provide us not only with wood as a resource, but also with oxygen, which we so vitally need to breathe. And it's the carbon dioxide to oxygen transfer, which is key to finding out how big we would need a single tree and its canopy to be in order to support us. But first, we need to find out just how many trees are there on our planet. Whilst an exact number is impossible to count, by using satellite images and very complicated mathematical formulas, biologists are able to make a fairly good assumption. NASA, who aren't only good at looking out into deep space, also have their satellites trained back at Earth and have taken pictures which biologists can use to monitor our planet's habitats from this unique perspective. And with trees reflecting light in a very particular way, satellites can detect and provide an accurate global count of land area covered by forest within the resolution of 30 metres by 30 metres, roughly the same size as a baseball diamond. Biologists can then count the tree density on the ground in a variety of locations. By multiplying that number by the forest area supplied by NASA, they can get a good idea of the actual number of individual trees on our planet. Now, these studies are fairly time consuming and quite expensive, so they don't happen that often, but the most reliable source we can find tells us that there are approximately 400 billion, 246 million, 300,201 trees on Earth, give or take a few as they get planted and chopped down. So the average human consumes around 0.84 kilograms of oxygen and releases around 0.9 kilograms of carbon dioxide per day. If we split the Earth into hectares, which is 51 billion, and divide that by the number of trees on our planet, we find that each hectare contains approximately 7.85 trees, and together they could be capable of pumping out approximately 2.4 kilograms of oxygen per day. Therefore, each person needs around 2.8 trees for a happy oxygen-filled existence. So, if we multiply the amount of oxygen we individually need by the 7 billion of us who are currently on our planet, that would equate to our tree needing a canopy of 3 trillion, 684 billion, 100 million square metres, or 1,919 kilometres wide and long. Or to put it simply, bigger than India, Indonesia and the Philippines combined, or six times the size of Madagascar, which would certainly put South Africa in the shade. And with all our need for wood, our tree is going to have to have a whopper of a trunk. Global wood production in 2012 was 4,240 million cubic metres. Now, according to scientists in northern Arizona, a tree can't grow higher than 130 metres thanks to gravity, so our tree is going to have to be fairly girthy to supply all that wood. In fact, it would need a diameter of 122,064 metres. The root system of this behemoth would also need to cover vast distances, able not only to anchor it to the ground, but also to pull up enough water to sustain such a gargantuan canopy. Travelling far and wide underground, its root system would need to cover 5,757 kilometres, comfortably covering the whole of Australia. So our singular life-supporting tree would be 130 metres tall, would have a trunk with a huge diameter of 122,064 metres. Its leafy canopy would cover 3 trillion 684 billion 100 million square metres and the root system would spread over 5,757 kilometres. That's 5 billion 757 million square metres. All in all, an absolutely enormous tree.
Now, we know this is all very hypothetical, and we've tried our hardest to work this out as accurately as possible, but if you have any ideas as to how big this singular tree would need to be, then let us know in the comments. For more mind-boggling statistics, subscribe to Earth Unplugged, and we'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Simon. Have you ever considered just how big a tree can grow? Why don't all trees grow as massive as this giant sequoia? Have you ever considered if Mount Everest is actually the tallest mountain? The mountain is still growing at a rate of approximately four millimetres per year. And today it stands at 8,848 metres high.